glories of Vaishnava, Vaishnava Thakur, uh, and the glories of Sri Sadhu Sangha, from Sri Pada Bhaktivedanta Dhamadhar Maharaj. Krishna's headache, Krishna's problem. 
देखो वाशिना इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाशिना शिक्षण 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 गुरुदेव 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 गुरु गुरुदेव of Shikshi Guru, that person cannot be successful in their life. If a real Guru Seva is that Seva performed under the guidance of Shikshi Guru. So Vaishnava Chakra means Shikshi Guru. Shikshi Guru is also a pure devotee. He or she may or may not appreciate anyone. That is according to the direction they receive from Krishna. Yeah. All the qualities that we are hearing about Krishna Guru, this is also for Vaishnava Krishna Guru. Guru Maharaj says all pure devotees are gurus, whether they accept initiation or not. Krishna Guru Tejani Krishna Guru Antajami Bhaktasvesh Devi. Therefore, because we cannot hear the voice of Paramatma, Paramatma manifests externally in the form of Shikshi Guru to give so much guidance. Therefore, Shikshi Guru is very close to us. Guru Maharaj says you cannot reveal everything to Shikshi Guru. He said, for example, if we are sannyasis and we go to Guru Dev, oh Guru Dev, there's one girl, I like her very much, you cannot stop. Thank you, Guru Dev. <laughs> we cannot say these things to Guru Dev. But Shikshi Guru, we can say those things. If we can sit on the same seat, well, I have this problem. Well, they are. Oh, oh, this is nothing. <laughs> they will embrace us and I'll take away our problems before we sit down. Therefore, acceptance of Shikshi Guru is a little funny. 64 liters, Vali Bhakti, the first is Guru Padasraya, taking a shelter to the feet of Guru Dev. Therefore, our relationship with Guru is based on Vidhi Mark. Because you took Mantra from him and his Diksha Guru, then you have to respect him, you have to serve him. But our relationship with Shikshi Guru is not based on that. Why are we serving Shikshi Guru? Why do we love Shikshi Guru? We never took mantra from them. Why do we serve them? There's only one reason. What is that? Pure love. For Shikshi Guru is a very exalted thing, very right? pure thing. So Vaishnava means Shikshi Guru. Who by their instructions and by their grace, they completely put us on the feet of our Shikshi Guru. Shikshi Guru is not trying to make disciples for himself, he is trying to put the disciple on the feet of his own spiritual master. It's so very hard to find bona fide Vaishnava in this world. They have no self interest. So Vaishnava is very close to us. Is it Guru Dev we fear? Fear is because our relation is based on Vidhiva. If Vaishnava will be like a heart and soul, Guru Maharaj says, Paramahandu, like our dear friend. So Vaishnava Tattva is very important for us to understand. If we do not understand Vaishnava Tattva or Shiksha Guru, then our life will be full of so many obstacles. Especially in our relationship with Guru Dev. Because Guru is Mahabharata, we are not Mahabharata. We are Kanishta Adhikaris, most of us. How we can understand someone on the exalted platform like Sri Guru Dev? Even the demigods cannot understand the way they live. Vaishnava Priya Mudra Vidyan Mataji. Even you are very, very intelligent, very hard to understand the behavior of a pure dog. We know Srinivas Acharya was a great devotee after the six Goswamis. So Srinivas Acharya, he could sing like a Gandhara. And he was very expert in all musical instruments and dancing. So when Srinivas Acharya was dancing in Kirtan, then everyone, the demigods were wondering, who is he? Is he a demigod? Is he a human being? 
that some of the more demi learned demigods like Shiva began criticizing the other demis. Oh, you are very foolish. How could any demigod or human being dance and sing like this? Incredible. He's not a demigod, he's not a human being. He is devotee of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Separate category. So even the devas find it very hard to understand if you are devotee who you are. Therefore, how we understand that will also be very hard for us. Therefore, Shiksha Guru is very important. Everything Guru does is under the influence of Raja Prem. What they walk, what they speak, how they behave. And we are not under the influence of Raja Prem. Therefore, how we can understand. This is Shiksha Guru will help us in so many ways in our relationship with our addiction. Actually, at one time it was Father's Day a few years ago. And Guru was discussing that. In India, the father will not show love to the son. He will not take the son to his life and embrace him. Because the son should fear the father. Otherwise, he will not follow his instructions. We've seen so many devotees who do their part in the Buddha. Then, after some time, they go because they do not fear him, they do not respect him properly. When respect to the spiritual master multiplies millions of times, that is called Vishnu Bhagavad Gita. Intimacy with Guru. Intimacy with Guru is never devoid of respect. Read. By the way, Gita Vishnu Bhagavad Gita talk or comments. When Dasiras, the respect of Dasiras multiplies millions of times, then it becomes So we are saying the father never takes his own disciple, on, or his own son of the lap. The father will always be very strict. And everyone else, like all the other uncles and aunties, they will love the boy. So then I say to Guru Dev, is that why you don't love your own disciples? You love anyone else's disciples, but not your own disciples. <laughs> You see, all those who are close to Guru all other people's disciples. Maharaj, 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 Kriminal. The Guru Dev's disciples are more distant. And Guru Dev laughed, yes. This is one of So Shikshi Guru is very much intimate and affectionate to the world. Then we should pray very hard to Guru Dev. Please Guru Dev, you show me who is your pure representative. Like people, we hear many people complain in this country, oh, after proper left, there was no one, we lost 20 years. Vaishnava was there, but they were not sincere enough to be able to meet Guru Mahani was there, Sri Shira Mahani was there, Sri Gobindu Mahani was there. Vaishnava was there because they did not get the mercy of Guru there, they could not recognize. So the mercy of Guru we can understand, Vaishnava. And the most question that we can properly understand Guru Dev. I want to tell one history where on Monday history. Very nice example. So when we first came to the mark, then we used to do Parikram in Devanam Gauri So then I had good fortune the first meeting with the Patrikram. The Maharaj is very kind, very affectionate, more than Guru Dev. Otherwise. So we came very attracted to being with him. Then at the end of Parikram, everyone goes to their houses or mass. So Maharaj was going to go back to his Bajan Kutia in Chinchu. So Maharaj had maybe 50 or 60 bags, plastic bags, cooking pots, blankets, so much stuff. So I thought, Maharaj, how are you going to your, back to your mass? He goes, oh. I will go by train. So you can imagine the day after the opening, how many millions of people are on the train. So I said to Maharaj, no Maharaj, I'll get a taxi. We can go by taxi. So Maharaj was very happy, okay, very good. Then one devotee was there, in the party. So he said, I want to come also. So I thought, I should not say no because this is very selfish to keep the devotees away from Vaishnavas. So I said, okay, we will go together. So then Hindu Panishu went to Guru Dev and did Pranam. Dhanavas Guru Dev, I'm going. Where? I'm going with Dhamana Maharaj to come back to Bhajan Guru And Guru became very happy. 
That time my name was Radna. Ah, you call Radna here. And everybody came and everybody was shaking because Gurudev was shouting so much. And he said, Oh, Gurudev wants to see you. And it's not good. <laughs> so he went there and Gurudev, there he had, and maybe 10 minutes he was shouting at me. Oh, you love everyone else except me. You follow everyone else except me. I don't know why you took initiation from me. You should go back and take initiation from someone else. And so, and very heavy things shouting. And then I said, but I already promised him that I would take him. Now I can break my promise. And Guru was amazed because I was still alive and giving some help. <laughs> and Guru said, okay, you go, but don't stay more than five minutes. In the largest place. So they came back and I was probably white and shaking. It was Guru very angry. Everyone says Guru is very sweet, very sweet. But when Guru is angry, worse than the Maharaj. <laughs> So then Chivikamaj looked at me and he laughed. He says, I guess permission was not given. <laughs> and I said, Ma, this, this is not funny, who did have rejected me? He said, you should go and take initiation from someone else. <laughs> then Chivikamaj began laughing. He thought it was very funny. He said, don't worry. This is like when Krishna said to Rukmini, Oh Rukmini, when you marry me, you made a mistake. You should go and marry someone else. So don't worry about it. Here's a good example. I thought Gurudev had like rejected me and told me to take initiation to someone else. But Shri Kumar thought it was very funny. You could understand Gurudev's intention, his higher point. So because of Maharaj's affection and assurance that I did not, Oh, Gurudev not reject me, only for some other reason. So then we went back to Maharaj's place and we stayed there for four days. Then at the end of four days, Guru was coming again to Chinchura. Then Maharaj looked at me and said, I guess five minutes is almost up, we should go now. <laughs> so here's a good example. It may be that Guru can be angry or disturbed or upset with us. But as long as Shikshu Guru is there, we have nothing to fear. Shishu Guru will always protect us and save us from becoming deviated from the fear of Guru Dev. Understand? The Shishu Guru is our dear friend, our Parambal. And we should pray very hard on the fear of God in Tinanaka. That really we can understand Vaishnav Tattva. Most of us we see Guru Dev's opulence. Oh, we have so many hundreds of disciples, so much wealth and so much name and fame. Most of us are attracted to Guru Dev because of that. But if any Vaishnava is this Kinshin Vaishnava, no followers, no disciples, then because we are materialists, we do not take them very seriously. What would happen if we met God and showed up on the how would you manage to leave us alone on an upside, underneath an upside down boat? He chants Harinam, he has no followers, no money, no disciples. Would we understand him? It would be hard for us to understand. Then we can understand Vaishnav when Guru and Krishna give special mercy to us. So Sira Patisidan says when he talk about gave a nice history. In Russia you have 3D movies. <laughs> when we were children, we used to watch Creature of the Black Lagoon. So, everyone is watching the glasses, and one tiger has walked into the movie studio. But no one pays attention to the tiger because they think this is part of the movie. In the same way, Vaishnav, he is there, but we cannot understand him. But when the tiger roars, then we take off the glasses, oh, tiger is there, then we run. So Vaishnava is always in this world. But we can only understand it when we take off the glasses of mind. Therefore, what is the quality that makes a Vaishnava pure Vaishnava? 26 qualities of a pure devotee. They're very clean, very merciful, more they're very silent. They are very grave, they are Daksha, very expert, they are very poetic, they are very learned. 
They don't eat too much. These are 26 qualities of a Vaishnava. But really, 25 of these qualities are external. Therefore, Srila Paramurudev, he said, if you glorify a Vaishnava for these 25 external qualities, this is Vaishnava for it. Is Gurudev a wonderful because he's clean and doesn't eat too much? Is this the quality that makes him a pure Vaishnava? What is the quality which makes him a Vaishnava? Krishna Ekasana. He is completely surrendered to Krishna. This is the one quality which makes him a Vaishnava. And the other 25 qualities are external qualities. The Paramahara said, if we glorify a Vaishnava for their 25 external qualities, this is not glorification of a Vaishnava. And a Vaishnava may have so many faults, apparent faults, but they have the one quality of being surrendered to Krishna. And they are, they are pure Vaishnavas. They were very hard to understand the Vaishnavas. Rupa Goswami said, Justeya Sopa Janateya Vapa Jastero Sena Prakudantvami Vapa Janasikritva. Like the river Ganga is full of dead bodies, pollution. When you come to Vrindavan, you will see what is the Yamuna. In Yamuna, there is so much pollution and bacteria, dead bodies and mud. But it cannot affect the Yamuna. Yamuna is always transcendental. In the same way, there may be so many faults, apparent faults that you see in the Russian. He is too angry. He is too violent. He is from a low family. He has some disease. He is born in a low. He is born in a low family. He is not learned. If you see those faults, you will cheat him. Because these cannot affect his transcendence. Because Guru is also not his body. Who is Guru then? He is not his body. We are not his body. Guru then is also not his body. So those apparent faults that we see in Vaishnava, which cannot affect his transcendental position. They were very hard to understand who is Vaishnava and who is not Vaishnava. Therefore, to teach us, Radharani herself came in the form of Ganadha Pandit. One day, Ganadha Pandit went to Mahabhu and asked, Oh Mahabhu, please, I want to hear Hari Kata. I want Vaishnava Sangha. Then she said, Mahabhu said, There's only one Vaishnava I know, that's Hundred Trinity. So Ganadha Pandit went there with Mahabhu. And he went to the house of Hundred Trinity. Hundred Trinity was a very wealthy landlord. He had gold, he had very white silk. He had long hair which he combed. He was chewing betel nut, his lips were red. Some girls were fanning him. And he was lying on a big silk, a big silk throne. Some mirrors were there, and he was looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> he had so many jewels and gold rings, nice hair, good cloth. His, hand, his hair had sandalwood oil. And she could not find it. He never knew what his material enjoyed. From birth, he was completely renounced. So Kanada Pandit was looking at this Hundred Kiddini. Oh, he seems like a materialist. He does not seem like a Vaishnava. Then Mukunda was there. Mukunda is Brinda there. Mukunda, he could sing all the verses of the Bhagavatam in a very beautiful tune. So Mukunda could understand. Now Kanada Pandit has doubt in this Vaishnava. Because he is very well. And he appears to be like a materialist. They will call the same Mahabhi Baba. Oh, Bakiyam Stanakam. Oh, thanks for watching. Oh, Bakiyam Stanakam. No, no, no. He did not see that first. So he described, Oh, Bakiyam Stanakam. 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 So when Pundari Bilini heard that voice, he became completely intoxicated in separation from Krishna. He began tearing his hair, tearing his cloth. Oh, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Then he fell unconscious for eight hours. Then Gadana Pandit, he is not an ordinary person, he is Radhika herself. But she is teaching us. Don't, be so, don't think that we have the power to examine and know who is a Vaishnava simply by their external behavior. We can 
know why she only by one thing, they had complete dependence on her. Then Puri is an idiot, he thought, I oh, know. Granada Pandit thought I made offense to this Vaishnava. Because in my mind I thought bad about it. You should not criticize Vaishnava in my mind, otherwise you cannot recognize it. We think we are the seer. We are not the seer. You can only see a Vaishnava by their grace. You can only understand their real attachment to Krishna by their mercy. Then you got up and said, I thought I, I made a big offense to a Vaishnava. The only way I can become free from that offense is to take initiation from it. So you can have a picture from Sri. So by this pastor you can understand how confidential is Vaishnava. Therefore sometimes Vaishnava is act like madam. Like Sri Gopachala's Babaji Maharaj. He would deliberately collect fish bones and put outside his heart. If anyone would come to him, Oh Maharaj, I want to give you a donation. What would Babaji Maharaj say? Yes, donate your stool to me. Pass stool outside my heart. Then a very bad smell will come, materialistic persons will not come. So sometimes a Vaishnava will act in such a way that materialist persons cannot understand them and cannot disturb them. So to recognize the Vaishnava, we have to be very, very sincere. And real we'll recognize only one person knows who is Vaishnava. Who is that? Nityananda So we pray very hard at the feet of Nityananda Guru, then we can properly understand who is Vaishnava and who is not Vaishnava. Who is real? Shikshu Guru. So I will finish with one more point. How important is Shikshu Guru? Our Sampradaya is not simply a Sampradaya of Diksha. So many people worry about Diksha Mantra, the power of Diksha Mantra. Even if your Guru is Kirishka Dikari, but your Sikshi Guru is Mahabharata, he will take you back to God. Because we are not simply a Diksha Mantra. One time in Mexico, Guru Dev said, Who is the Guru of Pariksha Mantra? No one knew. So I said, it was Kripachaya. Because Kripachaya taught all types of weaponry to Persia. And I couldn't have laughed. Yes, you and Persia Raja are godbrothers of Kripachaya. <laughs> Persia Raja, he never took Diksha from Sukhadev Goswami. What did he take? Shiksha. Therefore, Diksha Guru may or may not be perfect being. We are not so much concerned with that. But we should be concerned with the quality of Shisha Guru also because we are Bhagavad Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur said, We are not Parampara of bodies. We are Parampara of conception. So where we find the descent of that pure conception of Sri Rupa Goswami, there we find our Shisha Guru and Bhagavad Prabhupada. Therefore, real Diksha is not just mantra. Real Diksha is Harikata. When we find pure Harikata, there is Diksha, there is Shiksha, there is everything. If we want to achieve perfection by listening Harikata from qualified Vaishya. Also, it may be one may not have a Diksha Guru also. Remember, there was one devotee in Bhuvaneshwara. So his Guru was Bogus. Who's going to have the shikans? I'm So that devotee, he came to Bhubaneshwar. He stayed there for a few days. Then he was going to Jagannath Puri. Remember this part? So when he came to Jagannath Puri, he jumped off the train. And he missed his footing and he went underneath the train. And the train disembowed him. Took out his son. My story. Will you come to India soon? So then, all the Indian people, they thought he was dead. They took his watch, took his money, he was gone. But they thought he was dead, but he was not dead. He was still alive. So then someone put him in a rickshaw and took him to hospital. And because he had no money, for three days he lay in the aisle of the hospital. No bed, nothing. Then someone called Bhuvaneshwar. Oh, 
One of your devotees is here, please send help. So Sri Rokumar sent Sachinanda Guru to give him some money for his medicine and milk. But the devotee could not be there all the time, so that people in the hospital were drinking the milk and taking the money in the pocket. So you can imagine how much he was suffering. So very loudly he was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Twenty-four hours a day. Actually, no one else in the hospital could sleep. So they gave him a private room. But very loudly he chanted day and night, Mahamantra. And after a few days he died. So they asked him to go with him. What was his destination? Shri Bhagavan said he went back to God. Then everyone was saying, that's impossible. He did not have Guru, he did not have Diksha, he had nothing. Said it doesn't matter. Krishna is independent. His chanting was so sincere, Krishna personally too. Also, must be one reason he met Gorga Vindamara. That message is there also. Our Panambra, we are not simply a Diksha Panambra. We are Shiksha Panambra. We should always remember that. The Babaji's complaint, oh, Gauri Man has no Diksha Panambra. Gauri Man has Diksha Panambra. But it's not considered as important as this Harikata. Your Guru Maharaj gave these arguments. What's our connection with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never gave Diksha to anyone. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never gave Mahaprabhu gave teachings, Harikatas. How we are related to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not by Diksha, but by Shiksha. By Shiksha. So we should always look where is that pure Harikata, there we will find them. I'll finish with one last thing. I remember one time Pujabhat Bhada Maharaj, he began his Gurudeva asking to speak something. Then Pujabhat Bhada Maharaj went, uh, first of all, I give pranam, is that what pranam is to my Diksha Guru? Or Vishnu Bhada, Sishman Bhaktaran Bhada Maharaj. Then afterwards I give pranam to my Shiksha Guru, Sila Bhaktaran Narayan Kusana. Then Guru said, you cannot say that, that's wrong. Maharaj is very talented. So then Maharaj said, okay, I gave my simultaneous devices. So no matter how smart Maharaj thinks he is, Guru has always two fingers in it. And Guru said, you cannot say that. But Maharaj said, I don't know what to say. And Guru said, who do we give pranam to? That person who gave us the most. The person who gave us the most, we give pranam to that, whether they are Diksha Guru or Shiksha Guru or anything. So Vaishnava Tattva, especially in Gaudiya Sampradaya, very big deal. Who is Diksha Guru Tattva Bhakti Vinod? We are not considered him to be so much important. Guru Mahath said, no need to say he is inferior to Gaudiya Sampradaya Bhakti. But he is not given in our Guru Pram. In our Guru Pram Raj, the Diksha Guru of, uh, the Guru of Tapu Bhaktivinoda is considered to be Jagannath Das Babaji Why? Because Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj had the conception of Rupa Goswami. Then he is given importance in the Bhagavad Who is the Guru of Sri Lanka? Das Babaji Does anyone know? He took the Bhagavad, he took Pancharajik Diksha from Bhagavad Das Babaji But his father is not there in our Bhagavad Who's following me there? Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Therefore, Sri Lagoga Shodas Bhakti Maharaj considered Bhakti Vinod Thakur to be his real spiritual master. Because from Thakur Bhakti Vinod, he got the essence of the mercy of Sri Lagoga Shodas. Therefore, when we look at our Guru Parampara, we should always remember these things. Therefore, it's going to become crazy. How do I Maharaj can say he is the representative of the next the success of Prabhupada. Because they have no intelligence. They are only seeing Dishra. So the Ryan Maharaj never took pictures from Prabhupada, how he can be a disciple? Their intelligence is very gross, like a brick. 
We are following, we are not following this code, we are following what this is answer has to be titled. And the Shiksha Parampara. Why is Gurudev representative Prabhupada? Because his Shiksha Bhina is completely in his mind. That same code that Rupa Goswami is coming. From Shiksha Bhakti Siddhartha Sanskrit, from Prabhupada to Gurudev, by this code. But those who cannot understand Vaishnava Tattva, they are always bewildered about this. Because Vaishnava Tattva is very deep. So we should pray especially to Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. Because who is Shikshu Guru? We don't know. But they know. If we pray to them very sincerely, then they must. As Krishna led us to Diksha Guru, then Krishna will also lead us to glorify Shikshu Guru. Why did you cry for that? We have come under Krishna's shelter, therefore Krishna was responsible. Therefore we should have no fear at all. Vaishnava is always present in this world. But we are not sincere enough to recognize him, therefore fault is with us. Fault is not with Okay, thank you very much. Much love, God. Thank you. Thank you. So now our uh, evening program of all the speakers uh, discussing the two glorious topics of Sri Guru Tattva, Sri Vaishnav Tattva, is complete for this evening. And uh, now we will have four Arti, uh, Hari Kirtan, Radha Krishna Jubal Arti. So uh, just to remind, I don't know if you want to make any announcements. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just tell the English first a little. Um, so there is a scheduled time for Shri Gurudev's arrival, and that is 14:45 tomorrow. Tomorrow, 14:45. So he'll be arriving uh, here. No, no, no. no. Uh, okay. okay, okay. First, Hare Krishna. Uh, Сила Гурдев прибывает в аэропорт Дамадедова завтра в 14.45. Для преданных, которые э, сдали Лашми на автобус, на автобусы. Сколько их два, да? Два автобуса? Один автобус. Значит, только один автобус заполнен. И на этом автобусе преданные приезжают уже в 8 утра. Почему? Потому что э, очень большие пробки могут быть, хотя и в воскресенье, но чтобы поздравляться и... Э, это может занять там до 4 даже до 5 часов молодых. Вот, хотя в нормальном режиме может быть 3 часа. Мы едем в аэропорт Домодедово. Вот, перед этим преданные, которые едут на автобусе, могут зайти на кухню. То есть не могут, а наверняка зайдут на кухню, чтобы взять фасад, который будет специально для вас приготовлен. Мы это все устроим. Мы собираемся после регистрации и потом пешком идем к автобусу, который уже с 8 часов будет ждать у пассажа. И там будет посадка в автобусе. Рекрешно, где ли будет, 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 где 